Plants like this one spend millions of dollars every year to produce marketable, usable products. And just about all of these products will at some stage go through a process called distillation. It's a process based on the simple principle that different substances can be separated by their respective boiling points. In practice, however, this separation process can become quite complex as many different variables enter the picture. Properties of various substances are determined to a large extent by the size and structure of their molecules. Substances composed of large, heavy molecules tend to boil at high temperatures, while smaller, lighter compounds have lower boiling points. Distillation uses heat to separate a mixture of different compounds by their respective boiling points or boiling point ranges. Although there are many different types of distillation columns in any refinery or chemical plant, the goal of each is the same, to produce quality products that meet specifications at the lowest possible cost. To determine the product's purity, we use boiling point tests or actually measure the percent of heavy and light key components in the product. Other specifications are set for flash points, API gravity or specific gravity, and color. Products are periodically tested to make sure that they are meeting specifications. When products are off specification, a change must be made in tower operations to bring the products back on spec. This is usually done by adjusting the heat and material balance inside the column. When it is necessary to change tower operations, always make the change that will bring the product back on specification with the least effect on other tower conditions and with energy efficiency in mind.